India recorded 27,114 new coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours, boosting the confirmed cases tally in the country to 8,20,916 today. According to the latest figures released by the Union Health Ministry this morning, there are 2,83,407 active cases and 5,15,386 cured discharge cases in India, while the death toll has now mounted to 22,123. Manipur reported the highest spike of COVID-19 cases in the past 24 hours with 132 persons tested positive, taking the total tally to 1,582 in the state. An official report confirmed that the fresh cases were tested positive at the Viral Research and Diagnostic Laboratory VRDLs of Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences Janims, Regional Institute of Medical Sciences RIMS in Imphal and Sub-District Hospital Jiribam. Extrajudicial Execution Victim Families Association Manipur or IFAM today observes 11th Foundation Day at the Association Office located at Kwakai Hill in Imphal today. Family members of the victims and others paid floral tribute to all the victims of extrajudicial execution on the occasion. Some unidentified miscreants tried to break upon an ATM booth of SBI located near Imphal Palace Gate under Porompat Police Station in the wee hours today, but failed to loot the cash. A police patrol team foiled attempt. A report said cops pick up two persons involved in the incident. Dhanamanjuri University Imphal today organized a cleanliness program at the campus of DM College of Arts. Taking part in the program, Manipur Education Minister T.H. Radheshyam expressed serious concern over the recent decision of Fagokta to take off agitation and stop online class of non-implementation of 7 pay commission. Assam is going to have first ever bamboo industrial park in the northeast. The industrial park will be set up in Mandir Desai in Assam's Dima Hasau district. According to a media report earlier in a tweet, Union Donor Minister Jitendra Singh announced that this project will be built on an area of 75 hectares at a total cost of Rs 50 crore. The in-principal approval will be granted to this project in August of this year. Bisnupu constituency MLA Gobinda Skonthausam donated Rs 50,000 from his April month's salary to all Bisnupur District Working Journalists Union yesterday. The MLA handed over the cheque to Union President Y. Somananda and Vice President Dr. H. Roman during a simple function at his Ningtao Kong residence. A total of 94 new COVID-19 positive cases including 70 BSF personnel were detected, taking the tally to 189 active cases in Meghalaya in the last 24 hours. This is the highest spike where 94 positive cases reported in one day in the state. The Mizoram government has lifted the restriction on entry of transport vehicle carrying non-essential commodities into the state, a statement by State Information and Public Relations Department. According to media reports, the order came into effect from July 8 last. All types of commodities will now be permitted to be transported to the state without obtaining prior permission from the state government. Assam has reported 936 fresh COVID-19 cases in the past 24 hours, taking the state's overall positive cases to 15,536 with 5,650 active cases. Of the new cases, 521 cases were reported from Gohati city alone. As per media report, along with the surge in coronavirus positive cases, Assam is also witnessing a spike in the number of COVID-related deaths. DGCA, the Nodal Agency for Civil Aviation in India, recently issued a notification extending the ban on scheduled commercial international flights till July 31st. While the ban was earlier supposed to be till July 15, as per the MHA guidelines for Unlock 2, it was extended within a few days of the notification.